Hello, welcome to my high expenses Odyssey walkthrough. Here is the towers I chose. Very important to get the three planes, I think. Here, you probably could have started out with Ben and Dart Monkey, but I was just trying to prepare for round 15. But there's probably a million different ways you can beat this. I just make sure my Dart Monkey can see camo, do the middle path. And then once I have that, also make sure your druid has lead popping for 28. I got the boomerang for more lead popping. I basically got the super monkey to help, you know, with general popping, you can pop camo, but I mainly got it for the camo leads. And basically just use Ben's ability when you think it's appropriate. But obviously, you know, it's one of the easiest maps, so you can do whatever you want. Basically the strategy on this is use a spike factory for any cleanup, save up a bunch of money, and get a specter plane. I don't know why I did that ability.
So this one I was just trying to get a bunch of towers together to help them uh, complement one another. And I'm just making them all stronger and then basically get some banana farms and save up for Spectre. Enjoy! All right, here I have a confession to make. There's something about this 032 monkey I just love. I don't know why. Uh, you just get a bunch of them together and it's just really fun. Here I needed lead popping. I couldn't fit it anywhere, but this was a good enough spot. So here I just got some druids. Um, it was good enough, but only because Ben had his siphon. But if I were to do it over again, I um, probably wouldn't have bought that spike factory there because he's not. It's not really doing anything. This one I was. I wish I could kind of do it over again for the video. 
It's not exactly uh, my best work on this one. So this is perfect example of not my best work. Um, I really should have bought a spike factory for this lane and put it by the dart dartling gunner. So here I just put a plane, a druid, and a well-timed bin ability to take care of 49. So here we go, now I put the spike factory down. Of course, you know, I'm playing this before most uh, most people get up, so I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet. So here I'm counting, do I have enough money? Yes I do. I think Spectre is probably one of the best towers in the game. Global range, good power to carry you through the mid game. Handle 63, no problem. And microing this was a little bit annoying so I just locked it in place there in case the uh, Moabs got through the spike factory. Okay, welcome to the last map. For this one, I was just placing random towers. Just good enough to get through some of these early rounds. I have that boomerang on strong, by the way, just for the lead popping. So I got my dart monkey so I can see camo. And now I have my global range dart monkey, or dartling gunner. So for this one, um, my plan was to go with the bottom path for a couple of reasons. The first reason is I will get uh, higher sell back when I want to upgrade, you know, sell them and get another tower. The other op the other reason is when I'm using the startling gunner, I don't always want to worry about gathering the bananas. So the bottom path, you know, at least gives you a I think it's maybe 30% from the original. So I think you get 70 or 80% back or something like that. I know letting those bananas disappear like that is going to bother some of you, but trust me, you can beat this map using 402 uh, banana farms quite easily, but I do go ahead and switch these out to uh, 420 later on and on the left side, I'll buy one that is a eventually a 402 so I don't have to always collect it.
So here I decide to get a 024 plane for your Spectre with camo, obviously. And then I go ahead and rebuild my two farms as 420. And on the left there I do the I'll do a, eventually I'll do a 402. Every now and then I will collect them, but you can almost go uh, AFK for a little bit uh, in the mid rounds here. So the one thing you want to watch out for is round 90. Uh, yeah, you need to update to level 5. And then after that, it's fun. You can buy whatever you want. Uh, I did end up buying a giant laser cannon dartling gunner. You know, level 5 Ray of Doom. And I just did that um, around 100 but you probably could do it without it. And there you go.